Okay, <clears throat> I'm back after a little bit of a grading break. I watched some of the videos that we just did, and definitely there were some bumps and bruises in how I played, but I think that the purpose deck is just not a thing. So, that's too bad. Given that that's true, I think we're going to push ahead with our week 1++ plus plus build. I think we just have more scary things to do. Um, like, Thunder of Wings just gives you a threat that they have to answer or get beaten down. Edge of Prophecy has gotten me out of a lot of bad situations. I don't know. I just, I guess I'm ha I really am having a hard time explaining why this feels like it's working. And I could totally be wrong because I also think the opponent that I played with this deck um, was not in as good shape as I was. So I really don't know. But I guess that's a long speech of saying, like, I am going to keep playing this deck, but I'm not positive why. <laughs> so let's go. Game six this is, I think. All right. Shin Shark. It's like a shark that goes after your shins. Or possibly has shins. I don't like this, because we can't play this on turn three, and everything else is kind of context-dependent. Let's try again. Alright, we have more power. We have Kazuo. We have a turn two play. I'm all about all of this. So let's play... I think that what we're going to do... I'm sure that Kazuo will survive all the way to turn seven when we play this, but... Um, let's get some red for sure no let's let's play let's play oh i guess we have to play this one all right we're gonna use this and we're gonna get yikes green all right what i should have done is play token of destruction to get fire because we really want to get green from token of whatever that was uh token of creation for our edge of prophecy so i don't know that was pretty loose pretty sloppy pretty gross pretty nasty okay let's do this and play mm. Ugh, messed up so bad i guess we would still potentially be in this problem wow i just did it again by the way in case we're curious or no that's not true i just i didn't do it again but we would much rather be playing cover to stranger and we're not so that's too bad like cover to attacking cover to stranger into that would be excellent oops and we drew a Justice Sizzle to make ourselves feel worse. So let's attack. And this... I think we are going to want to play Cover to Stranger next turn. So let's do this. I mean this turn. So there you go. And then... Wow, just we had all kinds of sequencing problems here. Next turn we can play Kazuo. And the turn after that we can invoke him. <laughs> Uh, I will make this trade if you're into it. Because I get to draw another card, which I like. Yeah. That's hard to get rid of any other way. Um, so we play this. We play Kazuo because we definitely want to invoke him next turn. And we can also play this. And we're kind of on the board a little. What is her alt cost? Quick draw for the deadly thing. That's pretty scary. But hopefully we'll get to like defile it or something awful like that. Her thing costs six, so we we're a ways to go yet. Tell you what, let's draw a card. Oh, remember back? Remember way back when we were gonna invoke Kazuo? I think this is actually better, but probably not what I would have done if I were thinking. Let's silence the deadly thing because it's gonna be disruptive. This card is awesome. Okay, if we can stay on... If we keep drawing power, getting to play this pretty soon will be nice. There's This person is going to get a free something. <laughs> Youch. So we still get to kill it with this, I think. Which is good. That's a nice pull. We don't have any else we can draw do we we don't have any other strangers to attack with so we're not gonna get this trigger right now let's do we do this and now there's nothing else to silence if we do that um, ooh, we could invoke Kazuo that seems good 
I like a funeral pyre and nothing else. So funeral pyre it is. I guess the assault rifle might have been good. Unlikely that will decimate this, but by the way, I'm pretty sure I made a mistake. I should have looked closer at the Hellfire Rifle. Let me look at that card while we're waiting. Hellfire Rifle. Curse on that thing. Okay, I don't really like Hellfire Rifle, I don't think. Uh, I will do this deal, probably. And then are we crazy enough to like decimate both of these? dead. Is that something we're into? Hmm. I don't think we are. I think that's a little too crazy. Do we decimate something? This is going to make more curses happen. We could play this and kill something. I think we do. Let's see. Yeah, we can. We're gonna we're gonna use our our rectifier shade, I think, on that. So there's no misunderstandings about that. And then we'll just play this. And if we choose to, we can. Oh, we can't contaminating ritual because we don't actually have shadow. This feels like it's going okay. I like the fact that we have magnificent stranger. That's really where a lot of my hope is coming from. Okay, that's a good candidate for this, I think. All right, um, I think we should do that before it gets worse. So I don't think we can decimate it because we really want to get to Edge of Prophecy. Uh, let's not do it though, let's wait until next turn when we can hopefully bait something. Oh no, they could play a relic and then we get huge. So, yeah. So let's do it and do that. I wonder if I should have killed something else there. Yeah, wow, that would have been bad. And they're going to get to Zoltan Arbalest, my magnificent stranger. We can also... No, we can't. There's no relics in here, right? Nope. Pretty sweet deal for them. Yikes. And we still don't have like a clear way to get rid of it. So we're going to play this. I guess it would be... They have some kind of fast spell, huh? If I were them, I would nab this real quick. Huh. Well, I wonder if they're regretting that right now. I, I also just realized, I wonder if they're short on shadow, and that's why this is going so not that badly. Um, let's attack Will Sears. Oh, wait, we don't have Overwhelm anymore. Does that matter? I can still Sear them if I have to. Oh, I should have seared this thing, I think. If they have a kill spell. Alright, that ended up kind of working out. I should take a lesson from that. Let's see, if I had seared it, they could have played that in response and then... So I kind of two for one them there. Okay, pretty scary. Pretty freaking scary. I will block something. All right, we're definitely getting a shadow, oh my God. Um, let's attack. And I think I'm going to hold, well, let's see, maybe I should play this. I think I should. Because, yes, they could kill it and then we wouldn't get any cultists or anything. But 
we want to free up our mana so that if we draw this next or draw like any power card next turn, then we can play our Edge of Prophecy and kill the deadly thing. Like that, for example. So I'm feeling pretty good about all how this is going. So I'm going to bonk your this. And then if they want to double block this, they're more than welcome to. Um, sure. Was that wrong? Alright, not sure. That feels like a little loose in retrospect. We can throw this... Con oh, no, we don't have any power, but if we do... Oh, this is good. We're almost there on Spore Spitter. We, we, what do we put that in, in place of? I don't know. Something worse, for sure. Alright, let's do this. Does that only have one armor left? I thought I had two. Oh, it does double damage, I think. Yes, it does. Whoops. That's okay. Oh, I should have used this thing's ultimate ability. Still can, I guess. And will. Okay. Ooh, you know what? I could have, like, won with this. What a nerd. Let's get our that back. And hopefully they will fear concede. Wouldn't that be nice? Good game. Oh, shoot. That, that looks like I was BMing. I didn't mean to. All right. That went okay. Uh, game seven.